if there is one thing you can be completely certain that the evil Republicans of this country espouse when they recite the daily litany of their strongest hell beliefs, it's that one should not even say the word gay, much less explore anything surrounding surrounding it. Wait a second, I'm describing the people in places like China and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, These are just a couple of countries that are banning or are about to ban the new Pixar film Lightyear before it can even hit their theaters. You know why? Because in this film about the beloved character from the Toy Story movies, there's a scene with one woman kissing another woman. Now, I've heard about uh, a movie called Toy Story that involved two ladies kissing. You know what I'm talking about? But I think that's something else and probably a story for another time. Anyway, this sure-to-be-successful film is nevertheless not going to appear in a number of theaters around the world. Uh, Now, please correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I checked, wasn't the United States the country that everyone thinks of as the worst in the world when it comes to treating gay folks? Uh, Don't we sort of have a reputation as being the hate-mongering, two-dimensional bad guy characters in the socio-political mix, always twirling our dark mustache and saying things like, we don't like your kind around here. Now, Disney and Pixar are mildly upset about the fact that multiple countries aren't going to be showing Lightyear. You can attribute that to the genuine sadness about the state of the LGBTQ cause around the world. Or you can be cynical like me and assume that they're sad about watching those dollars just fly, fly away. But either way, uh, you know who isn't making a big stink stink about this? Um, Pretty much everybody else. Where, I ask you, where are the Twitter mobs to jump on top of this situation to make everything worse the way they usually do? Where are the outraged, woke allies demanding that set in their ways countries with actual anti-gay laws change their tune nowhere they're not there nowhere to be found and why why do you suppose that is in practice we see people tolerate in other countries what they would decry as homophobia in this one and just chalk it up to their culture being different the real reason behind it is insidious but stupid at the same time you see the left as we all know seeks to subvert the dominant paradigm you hear me say it every time I talk about this. For generations in this country, that was a society built on the foundation of Judeo-Christian values, and it's that Judeo-Christian part that the wokesters are really afraid of. It's those values that they fight day and night to get rid of because that's what's been here historically, and it's what stands in the way of their hypothetical and mythical utopian dreams. Nobody in the woke left, or at least very few of them, cares what the Muslim world thinks about gays. They could be throwing gay men off the buildings in Saudi Arabia, and all the wokesters will focus on someone saying a naughty word that might offend some gay people over here. It's the dirty little not-so-secret of the left, folks. They don't actually care about any of the groups they supposedly represent. So when Lightyear comes out, you can pretty much bet the farm that anyone in this country who speaks out against it showing a homosexual relationship in a kid's movie will be lambasted to infinity and beyond but the people overseas who are actually banning the damn thing will mostly be left alone it's effed up but that's reality for you that's where we're living ah sigh well there's another pixar movie i won't be seeing i don't care i just don't care i just don't care i don't care i mean you know at the end of star wars they had to put the gay kiss in there i just don't care i don't care i've seen a lot of crazy shit in my life (laughs) including Christina Aguilera's penis. Have you seen this? Look at her. I mean, she's up there. I hate that this is blurred out. She's up there at whatever pride celebration they're having here, Taylor. And she's got like a 12-inch green dong hanging off the Looks front like of the her. Looks like the Incredible Hulk. It's a, yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, she's got her little costume on, and she's up there dancing around with a big old d- dinger dong. Um, that's a lot right there. That's very, very kid appropriate for sure. Yeah, and so you know, there they are. They're just swinging it around out there, and it, 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 you know, why she's got a genitalia? Why not just expose your own? Why has it got to be that? You know, uh, you, hang, you know, hang your hoo ha out, Christina. That old gaping gash and nasty that looks like it probably came off of Merlin's wizard sleeves. You know, your freaking theater curtains. Hang those out there, you bunch of meat chops, like. You know, a little Eskimo in a moose canoe full of fresh meat. Nasty Arby sandwich. But no, she got to hang a, the wiener out there. Big green wiener. Hey, boy, take your kids out there, man, and give them something wholesome and some entertainment.